Mungu ametusaidia kabisa. Na ningeomba vijana wote wenye kwa hapa kwa mama na wazee mjitahidi mwake inakuja tusonge mbele pamoja katika jina la Yesu. Hakuna kitu inakuzuia kukua tajiri, hakuna kitu inakuzuia kupatia amani, hakuna kitu inakuzuia kusonga mbele. Mimi pia nilelewa kwa Islam na kiona pale nimefika. Amen. Haleluya. Tangu kabla hata udume ikuje nilikuwa worth milioni. Mungu alinibariki kumfuata yeye. Na naomba nyinyi wote hapa mnanisikiza leo mchukue jukumu yenu mtafute huyo Yesu. Haleluya. Jaribu tu uwezi kwa unajua kuongea kwa ndimi ambao unajua neno sana lakini yaanza kujituma. Ambia jana kwanza kujituma. Ukianza kujituma Mungu anakufungua. Tuna youth group hapa niko nasema wanaweza fanya hata video kama za machachari acting. Uwezi jua Mungu atakuona yake wapi? Lupita nyongo ameenda wapi ngambo? Sabia kutu, kuna kipawa iko ndani yako. Lakini utaanza kujituma kwanza ndio Mungu akufikisha hapo. Wengine wanaweza andika nyimbo vizuri. Wengine wanaweza tumikia Mungu njia fly na fulani. Mungu awasaidie katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Huyo kijana wangu amesoma ripoti hapa ya accounts ako USA hiyo anafanya accounts. Haleluya. Na nilimvuta tu na nikamwambia nataka aone venye anafanya mambo. Aone kanisa haijai kopa, haijai chukua pesa ya mtu, haina deni ya mtu. Haleluya. Tukiweka pesa yote yenye Mungu ametupa tangu dume yaanze ni nyingi sana. Ile mali kwa hapa imepita mamilioni na sio shilingi ya mtu tumechukua. Mimi peke yangu kubariki watu hii mwaka iliyopita nilipa watu nusu milioni kwa pesa yangu kwa mfuko. Haleluya. Sijifanyi nawaambia Mungu yuko. Mungu ni yani Mungu yuko. Ambia jina lako Mungu ni nani? Haleluya. Mungu yuko. Na naomba nyinyi wote mpate fursa kusonga mbele katika jina la Yesu. Nataka tumalizie ndio lile tusherekea kwa kukula na kufurahia. Haleluya. Na kesho itakuwa climax. Haleluya. Lizaji jirani yako kesho utakuwa. Amekuambia nini? Kabla tukule mla, mlo wa saba kwanza tukuje tujienjoy. Haleluya. Ndio Mungu atusaidie katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. Give us understanding. In Jesus name we pray. Nitaongea juu tu ya umuhimu ya nguvu ya maono. Kukua na nini? Ambe jako kuwa na maono. Hii yote tunaona hapa ni maono. The power of vision. Mimi nilifanya hesabu shule. Amen. Na likuwa nafunzwa. Sikuzi naona watoto wanatembea na kakileta. Tukufanya logarithms na kakileta. Amen. Tunazijua kwa kichwa. Amen. Watu wa sokatoa. Trigonometry. Watoto wanatembea na kakileta. Na kakileta na tumia sign. Bada na chuna kupata sign inverse. Hallelujah. Iyo ni maono ijapatikana. Maono ikiingia kuna pali unafika. Ambia jalako kwanzea lataka ukua na maono. Mambia ukua na maono. Anza kuwa na maono. Kuna nguvu kwa maono. There is power in vision. Kila maono lazima ikue. Every vision must come to pass. Kwa nini? Maono is a divine assignment. Ni kitu mungu anakupa kama kazi unafo ufanye. Hallelujah. For designing men. Ya kurekebisha watu. Walisao kusema kupitia maono mina amini mungu tatupe a football team. Itacheza KPL katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Wameanza tafadhali na najua watafikisha hapo. Nilikuwa naambiwa nafuwa nianzi mpira ya wasichana. Wasichana mataka mpira kweli. Ah, wasichana mataka mpira. Majali niambia hivwa basa likosoa. Hallelujah. Amen. But ni maono. Every assignment is supposed to design men. Every vision. Kila time kuna maono. Unarekebisha watu. Sabu mambo ya naendelea kuwa. Sayi tunatumia Facebook. Sabu muta likuwa na maono. Sindio? Tunatumia simu za kuguza tu. Sabu muta likuwa na maono. If you have vision for your life. You can design your family. You can design your life. Kama uko na maono uneza badilisha nyumba inu. Swali ni uko na maono. Because maono ya toka minguni. Ya toki kwa mtu. No mana kila siku na mka wish life yangu ita change. Wacha kuwish. Anza kuwa na maono. Hallelujah. And take steps towards the vision. 
nilikuwa naambia ile mjengo tutajenga mtoona kila mtu anakuwa anakuja kutembea kuangalia amen kila mtu because there's a vision tukikuja hai kwa hii chumba nikasema ibada itakuwa mbili na tutajaza so tuko karibu kujaza only two services hii mwaka inakuja mama ameomba kama ni uko kwa kiroho na mimi naambia Mungu atupe watu 500 kufikia mwaka ujao na Mungu anarufikisha katika jina la Yesu na naomba mimi nitakuwa na wewe lakini tutafika aje wewe kwanza kuwa na maono wewe peke yako kwa nini mtafute Mungu lazima uko na maono ama Mungu atakuchosha unapenda vile unaishi unapenda pale unalala unapenda vile mnateseka kama upendi amka leo chukua maono chukua maono na usonge nayo mbele na mta sikuzuie vision is powerful vision is powerful vision is very powerful katika Yohana 3:16 John chapter 3 verse 16 maono inafaa ikubadilishi wewe peke yako pia inabadilisha wenzako ninaomba irongai watu wataza kuwa na maono makuu haleluya enda uchukue picha yako ya gari nzuri unapenda weka weka nyumba yako hiyo unataka weka kazi yako hiyo unataka kufanya Mungu atakupatia katika jina la Yesu. Pesa inafuata maono, sio maono inafuata pesa. Mumesaki tumesema, pesa inafuata nini? Ukikuwa na maono, pesa itajipanga ikufuate. Ukikuwa na maono, watu watakufuata. Nyinyi wote leo mmekusanyika sio sababu yangu, sababu ya maono. Kama kungekuwa na maono, tungekuwa pale pamoja. May God use you to change your story in Jesus mighty name. John chapter 3 verse 16 Yohana 3:16 Yasema vipi? For God so loved the world. Uh -huh, that you so ever what? For God so loved alikuwa na vision. God had a vision. What is your vision? What do you want to achieve? 2022 is about to be over. What do you want to achieve? It doesn't matter what you scored in high school. You can wake up and start your plumbing business and make it. Unaweza amka uanze biashara yako ya mboga na utoke. Unaweza amka uanze biashara yako ya baiskeli na usonge mbele. You can start anywhere. I was talking to one of the girls, msana mmoja hapa nikamwambia, "Kwa karibu kumaliza shule, what do you want to be ukimaliza shule form 4 next year? Unataka kuwa nini? Go sit down. Angalia unataka kwenda wapi." Juulize next year unataka kuna vango ina gani? Unataka kuona kula vipi? You must have vision to get there. Lazima ukuwa na maono ndio ufike huko. Without vision, you may die like a chicken. But I pray you shall not die like a chicken in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Mungu pia kujenga mwingu zote alikuwa na nini? Maono. Katika mwanzo moja mlango wa kwanza hadi pili. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 2. God saw how men evolved and gave them a vision. Mungu alinipa hii huduma sababu alikuwa anakujua utakuwa hapa siku moja. Unaelewa tunasema, ambia jina lako Mungu alijua siku moja utakuwa hapa. Mwambie I say, eh? Asa mwambie oya, we, mwambie najua. Mwambie nakasirika kwanza leo nitaanza kunulia kuku. Mwambie naanza kukasirika kwanza. Nimeanza kuwa na maono makuu. Mwambie nimepandisha bei nitaanza kunulia mambuzi. Mwambie nimepandisha bei. Lakini utafika huko kama uko na mao? What is your vision? Stop just living every day. Ati ukule ulale, ukule ulale. That's, there's no way you are going like that. I used to do clubbing, nimeenda club. Like it didn't help me. Nimeenda Nyanza tukafanya Florida. But it no help me. Jesus gave me a purpose. How? Alinipa mao? Na naomba leo mchukue maono katika jina la Yesu. Mwanzo mlango wa kwanza Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 2. It says in the beginning God did what? Created the heavens and what? How did he create? Look at verse 2. How did he create it? It says what the earth was what? And void and what? Labda wewe sasa uko hapo unasikia kuna kitu nafanyika kwenu. Mnaona mashida ziko kwako unasikia ai nimejaribu paka nataka kuacha shule nataka kufanya nini hapana hivyo ndo kulikuwa kulikuwa kuna giza hakuna kitu ilikuwa ukienda nyumbani unajua hakuna kitu yote iko but what happened the spirit of god 
was hovering. Ambeji lako hovering. Ilikuwa na zunguka. Ikitafuta kitu. Ikitafuta kitu. Over the face of the earth. Do you know what God did? Verse 3. What does he say? And God did what? Then God what? Tell your neighbor, say something. No one has vision and does not say anything. Always kwa na maono na kuna kitu naweza sema. Ask your neighbor, what are you saying? Mwambie, tell me two things that you have been saying. Mwambie, tell me two things. What have you been saying? What you say reflects your vision. Chachote unasema inaonyesha maono yako. Ukianza kusema, "Woi, nataka tunduthi." Hapo ndo tutafika. Lakini ukisema, "Hala, nataka tundege." Hapo ndo uta nini? Liza jina lako ni nduthi ama ndege? Muulize ni wapi? Amesema nini? Amesema nduthi. Muachele mkono muombe. Muombe Mungu akupe maono. Haleluya. Akupe nini? This mentality of poverty must get out of your head. Get out of your head. You are not poor. You are just visionless. Ngoja mjiona kiti yote. Hii mwaka inakuja tutafanya mambo makuu. Na naomba utakuwa na katika jina la Yesu. Have a vision for your life. Have a vision. Even if no one believes, have that vision. Mimi hata nikianza huduma niliambua nitoke huku nende nyumbani sababu nimesoma soma na kizungu yangu watu watakuja kanisa. Yaani mtu anaemba nende nyumbani sababu ya kizungu. Yaani angalie maono yangu. Mwingine akaniambia hata Mungu hajakuita. Hizo ni mashetani ziko naongea na usiku. Kai? Ma, yaani ma, ma, magoe ziko zinaongea na mimi. Nikasema nitaanza hivyo. Siku apigia hata simu ondo alijileta siku nilisema nitaanza. Na nikarudi nyumbani mama akaniuliza mlikuwa ngapi leo nilikwambia tulikuwa watu watatu na watu elfu tatu kwa kiroho. Haleluya. Woo pigia bwana makofi. Haleluya. Nini? Maono. Maono. Great ajalishi. Unaweza pata Daudi lakini unaweza toka, si ndio? Daudi anaweza gonga nini mla? Yeah. Stop seeing yourself like you cannot make it. May you be the first one to buy a car in your family. May you be the first one to go to London. May you be the first one to travel. May you be the first one. Simple. I started my first business when I was 20. Bought my first property when I was 22. Ask your neighbor, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Ambe jako shika maono tafadhali. Shika. Amen. And God said, Hizo vitu nalia munga kupei Hauta pato kiba Hauta pato kidanganya Uta pato kikuwa na mao Ukikuwa na maono unanza kuongea Siku moja nitakuwa hapa Siku moja nitakuwa hapa Siku moja nitakuwa hapa May you get there in Jesus mighty name Watu wengi wanakufa Familia zinakufa Sabu waze watoto wana maono Katika metali 29 Musari wa kumina nane Proverbs 29 verse 18 May you catch a vision May you catch a vision Tell your neighbor catch a vision Catch a vision Ati kila siku siku tunateseka Wo ya kuna maji No, change what you are saying Hallelujah Munga kupia shower Amen Munga kupia bathtub Ukuna katu wapu unaogelea kwa yobesheni Unatowa makucha inje, unarudisha ndani. Uneka karodi wapo, unakula ka... Hey! Kastroberi! Amen! Hii manene ya kuinama na kumwaga maji unahata sabu ni baridi. Iishe! Ambeja wako manene ya kuhata maji imeisha kwanzia leo. But, shika maono! Shika maono! What is it? Nisa wakesha utahata maji lakini kana maono. Ato kiata kana nini? Ukika na maono anza kusema siku moja nitakuwa kwa besheni nitu nikiogea. Bathtub. Hallelujah. Na kaglasi ya juice hapo. Hallelujah. Na matosoberi. Hallelujah. Na TV hapo na chenitu channel. Hallelujah. Na ambia mungu buwana asifiwe. Ha! It starts with vision. It starts with what? Vision is very important in a man's life. You can be prayerful. You are going to church, but without vision, you will not go far. 
Money does not bring vision. It's vision that brings money. Maono aileti pesa. Inaleta pesa. Sio pesa inaleta maono. Metali 29. Msada 18. Inasawa nini? Pasipo nini? Pasipo nini? Watu nini? Bali na hayana heri. Mtu yule? Where well, there is no revelation the people cast off. You are poor in your family because someone is not catching a vision. May you be the first one to catch the vision in Jesus' name. Where well, your parents never travel, may you travel. What your parents have never done, may you do it. Hallelujah. We will be the first church in Rongai to, to shake the earth. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor we shall be the real earthquake. We shall be the real earthquake. I was telling them I want us to do a very serious youth conference in August. We will spend millions on it. Hallelujah. What they have never seen, we shall be the first one. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? There is vision. Money is not their problem. Vision is their problem. What is your vision, my friend? Ask your neighbor, Maono, ako ni nini? Unaona nini? Mwambi unaona nini, I say. Mwambi, my friend, unaona nini? Kuna watu waoni, wanaona tu wapa. Anafikiria venye ibada itaisha ndaka kule chapati. Ah! Mwambi, ushindu ya katika jina lai. Hallelujah. Ushindu. Mwambi, pata maono makubwa. Fikiria venye kesho utakuja ibada ubarikiwe. Mwambi, hivyo. Fikiria venye kesho utakuja ibada ubarikiwe. Ah. Mungina mekuja, eh, hey, izo, izo, izo manyama zimeiva. Yo sio maono mwambie sio maono my friend mwekelee mikono mwambie na toa hiyo shetani katika jina la Yesu mwambie riswa haleluya pata maono nani anaenda chome kenyata kupanda ndege kama mimi uko shua tunaenda wapi tunaenda wapi atumkinia na kakamega mwambie shindwe bwana haleluya atuandi kakamega haleluya Tunaenda Sydney. Amen. Tunaenda wapi? Tunaenda ati wapi? At what? At what? Watongolo ni wapi bwana? Wewe tunaenda Washington. Hallelujah. Amen. No maana tuna so maono. Maono. No mpate maono katika jina la Yesu. Wote wanyako shule hapa zeni kupata maono. Go sit down right your vision. Follow Christ with your vision in your eyes. You will see it. Follow God with the vision. I started my business with 500 shillings. Nilipita KCSC mama kanipa miatano kunisherekia na mimi. Iyo miatano siku kula nilena kandua nyuele. Busy braids. Abuja. Nazijua zote 27, 30. One stroke 33. Yeah? Long short. Amen. Amen. Paka nikauza uzi ya wanawake. Paka weave. Amen. Iyo neliza ni kafungua playstation. Ikaza ni kafungua salon. Ikaza ni kafungua no kinyozi. Ikaza ni kafungua biashara events. 500 shillings transformed me. How? Vision. Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? What sees thou? Mwambia, what sees thou? Unoona nini? Eh? Mgena nambia besta, suli niambia kuna food. Tumeka hapa bwana niaje. Mwambie ukinulize swali tena na kufukuza nje. Mwambie niulize tena uone. Niulize uone. Eh? Utatitachia Mungu ni pamane naye kama Kaisari. Mwambie hivyo. Have a vision. Why are you here? Why do you want to be born again? Why do you want to follow Christ? You follow Christ because you have a vision. And God is the only one who can bring your vision to pass. Not your uncle, not your auntie. Not even your mother. I was telling her yesterday night. I wish my mother was alive to see what we have done. Mama likufa kama ni mempanja kumpaleka London holiday. Amen. Na ilikuwa uchungu sana. Alienda tu. Na yu maka nikuwa ni mpromise anenda London. Kula lunch akai for one week arudi. Maono. Mama has gone. But have achieved. When you know, Nalia, to Babanga, Liniacha, and Omana Nikoapa, Mamma Angu, Mamma Angu, who Mamma Jaco, where I try excuses, Bona. Mamma and Makuzoya and Makuzoya, Mamma Badilika Bona. May you catch a vision in Jesus' name. 
maybe naomba upate maono kuanzia katika jina la Yesu na unapata je maono Habakuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 unapata je maono hii naomba sisi ndio tutabadilisha hii mji katika jina la Yesu sisi ndio tutasonga mbele katika jina la Yesu may you catch a vision ambaye kupata maono Nimelala na kitanda yenye ilikuwa naeka mtungi chini. Na melala kwa, mt- kwa kitanda kwa na mtungi chini. Ukipita hiyo mtungi hivi muenda chini wote nyote. I have slept on that. Na nakumbuka kumbuka leo kumbariki nikamwambia mama bibi yangu nataka kununua king's bed. Umeza jina lako unajua kitanda ya mfalme inakaje? So hizi mnasemanga 5 by what? Yesemanga e, hivyo. Hiyo ni mungu mmoja inabeba na usimebeba kitanda kasikia. Mungu mmoja huyu azibebe peke yake anataka mtu kumuinua a big bed nilikuwa na lala na mattress ile nana na mela na ile mattress ukisikia ukilala unasikia unafunya mbao paka unaeka nguo hapa ulale nayo maono i remember my wife buying a mattress worth around 40000 to 40 or 30 what yes just because there's vision tell me about vision brings money habakuk chapter 2 then the lord did what can we together one two three go Mm? Ambia jina lako maono inaandikwa chini. Yes. If you have a vision today, get a vision board. Write it down. Are we clear? Andika chi? Do kila samba besaka kwambia twende ngoma unakumbuka, mimi sio mtu wa ngoma. Amen. I must be somewhere reading or I must be working on something. I'm telling the truth. Una date msichana anakutoanisha unabaki umesota. I thank God for my wife and my girlfriend here. Hallelujah. Forever love you. I love you. Amen. Nini nilifanyika? Nikutana msichana, mimi naanza maisha. Ananiambia nimpeleke KFC. Nikamuuliza chips KFC ni pesa ngapi? Akaniletea bei ya simiti. Nikamwambia my friend, wewe na Mungu tuendeleane tuachane my friend ninunue simiti na mimi hata sianza maisha ninunua simiti na kwa tumbo ya mtu i saw the bill 600 shillings i said what cement baburi cement nikamwambia tukule chipo mwito hakuna mani ya baburi cement so me i can't do chipo za mwito i said god bless you with mwito i'm gone ambia jina yako put your focus right right ni vision andika next year kama hii utakuwa unakuja unakaaje liza jina yako next year time kama hii utakuwa unakaaje mwambie utakuwa unaniomba libam muulize utakuwa unaniomba nini mwambie next year sikupata unaniomba tafadhali write down your vision number one, i will not be in debt sitakuwa na madeni i will not owe anyone anything hii huduma ijaichukua deni ati tunanunua kitu deni for where I am not in debt. Are you in debt? Write down. Tell everybody write down. When you write your vision, you put your energy at the right place. Are we clear? Ukiandika maono yako unaweka nguvu zako kwa palinzu? Watu wakupiga makele unachana wanapiga makele? Write down your vision. Hii mwaka na next year nataka tukue hapa. Enda nyumbani uangalie unaona baba yako ana vision, mama yako ana vision, you talk to yourself. Hallelujah. Say one day I'll be out of this house. Where will I be? Amen. Write down your vision. Start saving. I bought my first shares when I was in form 1. Equity shares. Is all paid part of my school fees. Wengine mko form 3, form 2 mmefundishwa to business shares. Na unajua hata shares ni nini? Because you have no vision. Umefundishwa balance sheet. And now but you're not balancing your life. You are very unbalanced. Your debit and credit does not match. You lack vision. I bought my first shares Equity Bank I've never forgotten till now I have the account. Parents have a vision for your pa- children. Hakuna mtoto mtu mwenye amezaliwa na hajafunguliwa dollar account. The day they were born a dollar account was opened to them. They will get it after 18 years. Money is populating in that account every day as we are speaking. That is vision. It is what? Right down your vision 
What we are seeing here, it was written down. It was written down. We are not here by chance. Tell your neighbor we don't make it by luck. We make it by work. Tell your neighbor there's no luck. There's only work. Nothing works until you work it. You work it out. Mrembo anataka kwa mrembo lakini hizi simama kwa kio. Atakuwa mrembo kweli? Suda mpata make make up huko na nyingine huko. Anakambia gai, nakaa hivyo kumbe. Wacha nitafute kio. That is a confused life. You write it down. Verse 3. What does he say? He say what? Habakkuk chapter 2. Verse 3. What does he say? Uh-huh. He shall not hurry. He shall not hurry. Maono yako itakuja katika jina la Yesu. Haita katukianza tulikuwa watatu. Mwana yako yako natoshana. Say naka fine boys, indio? Mwana sema, mambia bisa kule ndo bazu sasa. Mambia ndo definition ya bazu. Mambia. Hallelujah. Lakini yote mu kiniona, ungekako naomba in the spirit, Rabba Shaka Telebrotos. Lord deliver the man of God. But vision has time. Vision has what? Patience. Usikuja kodumu unataka tu maji karakaraka. Munga umekupona, umekua tajiri. Come serve God. Give God two years. Tell me if it will be the same way. Ama inifuata kama unandevu. Uwe alikuja kama ananyuele. Alikuwa mevua plastic earrings. Uwe alikuwa na alsas. Uwe mgini ako hapi. Uwe alikuwa mekanyaga mudhurwa. Viatu uzimekazi. Uwe. God has blessed them. They are becoming handsome men. Any girl can die for you now, Dickens. Nani nataka Dickens hapa? Wajwa yu sendo mkono. You see? Patience! Tell your neighbor, patience! Uvumilivu! Lazuma uvumilie, tafuta mungu na uvumilivu. Usikuja raka, unatoka church, umerudi disco tena. You ni disco matanga, unadansu kwa my friend, unakufa. That's why you feel lonely. May you change your life in Jesus' name. May you have a purpose for God in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 4. What does it say? What does it what say? My friend. Amen. Are you catching a vision in technical? Amen. What does it say? What does it go? Behold what? But the just. When you have vision, you must have faith. You must have what? Faith is seeing the impossible. Believing the undeniable. Tell your neighbor, I know you are rich. That is faith. Undeniable. Believing the impossible. Accepting the undeniable. Let me tell you, we will buy planes. We will buy planes. One, two, three. Wait and see. We will buy a plane. A plane. We shall go to South Africa and eat food and come back in the evening and we thank God. Tell your neighbor if you want to be poor, that's up to you. We have faith. Faith. Without faith. Without faith, no man can do anything. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Without faith, it is impossible. Oh my God. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. I believe God for tremendous joy here in Jesus' name. I am believing God we shall go far in Jesus' name. Now, my Munga, that to pray, Kambali, Katika, Jina, La Yesu. Usile, Kinya, Kwa, Nyimbo, Sengane, Nyimbandogo. Have faith. One day you have a big house. Have faith. Have faith, my friend. Have faith. Oh my God. Our first church was this size. This was the size of the pulpit. This side. Leave this one. This was the side. This pulpit like this. Faith. 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 Tell me about faith. Faith gives vision life. Faith gives vision life. Kwa na imani. Now faith. Is the substance of things what? And the evidence of things what? Ask your neighbor, what do you see? 
Oh my God. Do you see what I'm seeing? Are you sure you're seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I am telling you, we are going somewhere in Jesus' name. Have faith for your vision. One day you will build a house for your family. Amen. You must have faith for that. That's why you follow God. No matter what after Mungu. I put that scripture again. Faith is that substance. That substance is the substance. Is the substance. Is the substance of things we hope for. And the evidence of things not seen. Tell your neighbor I'm a millionaire. Tell, tell about from today, talk to me carefully. Or I'll embarrass you with a check. Tell your neighbor, or I'll embarrass you with a check. Or I'll confuse you with a bank account. I have faith. I have faith. Oh my God. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Maxwell, I can start the church again and I get here. The faith I'm working with is very impossible. God did not call you. God called me. Don't ask me again. I never look for the accounts. I don't look. I don't need to see the basket to believe. I. I don't need to see it to believe. I know I have it. What do you have? Ask your neighbor, what do you have? Ask your neighbor, what do you have? Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. That's not faith. Faith, I am a blessed man. Say, I am blessed. I am rich. I am highly favored. I am going somewhere. I'll be somebody. That is faith. That is faith. Faith cannot be defined by my present circumstance. Faith is defined for the things I'm hoping for, which you cannot see. We are about to start building. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall have faith. You had the report? COVID year, coffer rings, tithes was 400,000. Hallelujah. This year, only from January till now, the offerings was 1.4 million. Can you clap for Jesus? <laughs> Next year, Tell your neighbor you will hear whatever you have never heard. Amen. God gave me men. Oh, faith. Faith. Go home today. Have faith you will change your name. Hallelujah. Amen. Have faith you are moving from that poverty. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor have faith. Have faith. God told me five years ago. August 2017, when I was fasting for 40 days, God raised me a people who are spirit led. And on Lele Wat, when you are on a Rome Takatif. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 2 to 7. You can read that later. Later, I asked him, How will I do it? He told me by the spirit of wisdom. Hekima, I will give you wisdom. The book of Isaiah 33, verse 6. It said, wisdom shall be the stability of your times. Hallelujah. Amen. And I asked him, furthermore, God, what tools will you give me? He told me, I'll give you instructions per time for new faces. Hallelujah. You have not seen anything. Wait this year that is coming. Everyone will be part of this church. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Everyone will want to be just part of us. We will do what no one has done here around. Wait and see. Why? I have faith. I have faith. You have been around. This is what controls us. Faith in Jesus. Jesus never changes. Jesus never fails. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm going to Yesu ndio njia. Ndio kweli na ndio maisha. Na uzima wako. Hallelujah. So what will be happening in this year 2023? I want my office to write this down especially. This year number 1 we believe God for divine encounters. Tuangambia Mungu atutembelee njia tutembelee. Hallelujah. We shall believe God for signs and wonders. 
vizii wapone viwete watembe wagonjwa wapone katika jina la Yesu that's what you are believing god for this year hii mwaka iliyopita tuliona mtu mwenye hajitambui ametembea akakuja kanisani hii mwaka imepita tulipata mtu amelala kwa kitanda angeza kwa muka tulimwombea akasimama akaitisha hata chakula why this year we are believing God for more Amen. for more we want the blind to be brought to church Amen. we want the lame to be brought to church Amen. and they shall start from their wheelchair Amen. in the name of Jesus resheka baziko to seyada Lord, we are appealing for signs and wonders. This year, give us signs and wonders. As Peter walked in Shadow Hill, Jesus, we are believing in for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. No one shall be lame. No one shall be blind. No one shall be deaf. No one shall be sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. Signs and wonders. Divine encounters. And we shall pray it in, in Jesus' name. Yes. We will pray until we see it. Yes. One blind person seeing will bring this whole place here. Amen. One. So tell your neighbor, start bringing blind people to church. Start bringing deaf people to church. Start bringing deaf. This year, God said He will give us leaps and bounds. Amen. We shall jump and fly. Amen. In Jesus' name. Number three, this year shall be a year of greater report. It shall be far better. Greater report. Number four, this year shall be a year of angelic interventions. All that is under divine encounters. Amen. And lastly, this year shall be a year of fame and presidented favors with God and men. Hallelujah. Mungu atatupa kibali hapa katika jina la Yesu. Number two, hii mwaka inakuja tafanya nini? Kuvuta mioyo. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor soul winning. Evangelism. Hallelujah. We are believing God for 500 people strong by October. Who can help me go out and win souls to church? And invite people to church. Who can try? Invite even one soul. That is it. 500 people strong. Tell your neighbor 500 people strong. Per service. We are not at Wangizi Dubadangine. Ibada itakuwa tu mbili kujikuja baadaye unakaa nje ama unakaa uko chini. Hallelujah. That's only to announce it. Evangelism. And how will we do evangelism or soul winning? Number one by intense prayers for the church and the groups. Wanaume waombe zaidi. Wanawake waombe zaidi. Na maombi inaanza Jumatatu saa mbili. Prayer. We shall pray them in. Hallelujah. Number two, we will encourage people to enter, wanda kwa ushirika wa nyumba, love centers. Tell neighbor love centers. We shall go to house fellowship more and more. Amen. Number three, an akazo will be practiced from the children's department till the, till the elderly's department. Amen. An akazo is going by force. Amen. Utabeba jina yako na lazi. Mwambie my friend, ubaki leo nyumbani. Wajwa kuna mgini na mwimba Unamwagesha vizuri na anataka abembelezwe. Sindio? Mgini unamlazimisha. Then lastly, we shall do church expo. How many of us were in the last church expo? Did you like it? This year for Christmas, we shall do church expo. Hallelujah. During Christmas, we shall do church expo in the Kell ground. Hoping we shall feed the community there and we shall sing Christmas there and we shall put a Christmas tree there. Hallelujah. And we many souls there in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Church expo. So people can know about the church. Amen. Number three. We shall be developing leaders. We are believing God. Kujenga watu. We are believing God. We shall have service unit and leadership cashers. Amen. Service unit and what? Number two. Economic empowerment of everyone. Collins and Mesema Paka report. Tuna believe kuwasaidia watu wengi wanze mabiashara zao. Amen. Under the ministry. But the ministry will monitor it. Hallelujah. The ministry must monitor your business. If you don't want, don't come. Amen. Yeah. You will not be get, taking thing with the man. You will bring it. So we ensure everyone is working. No child will miss going to school in Jesus name. Number three, training discipleship classes. Amen. 
Number four, having a leader on duty per month to assist the man of God. From tomorrow, I will not be the one to be seen. Amen? Someone else will start being seen in Jesus' name. And lastly, number four, we shall commission the church council and increase service units even to the children's department. We are believing God to change all these instruments. Hallelujah. We take it to the children's department. We get Emmanuel a new keyboard and we get Steve a new drum set. Hallelujah. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. What we shall buy next time, even your fingers will be holy to touch it. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Number four, financial stability. I am directing the accounts. By next year time like this, I want savings of worth over 1 million shillings. No money to be spent carelessly. I don't need to see the records. Just save the money for me. Are we clear? Let less than 1 million shillings. Number two, we shall increase people in saving culture. I will do that with the men and the women. I will be involved. I make sure you develop a strong saving culture. A strong saving culture. None of my women will be poor in Jesus' name. None of my men will be poor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number Yes. Number two, we shall insist and teach the benefits of tithing, offering, and giving. Making sure we have 100% people are tithing. Amen. Ask a neighbor, you are tighter. Number three, we shall open more businesses and investments. Please, accounts, take note of that. And lastly, we shall teach you how to sow it to my life for to remove anything that is a problem in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Number five, we shall be focusing on families. This year that is coming, we shall be focusing on families. Why is that old man outside there? Oh yeah, come in and sit down. Amen. Amen. My son, sit down. Why are you standing? God bless you. Happy to see you. God bless you. Marital classes. We shall have free marital classes from next year, January. Hallelujah. Clap hands for Jesus. Darasa za wanyamesha nini? Wamesha hawa. Na wanyamapanga kuo? Ndo wajue huko wanenda kufanya nini? Some of you are getting married carelessly and you are suffering pain. Free marital classes from next year. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. Amen. We shall ensure every family is doing a business and working. No family in this church, as much your husband and wife, you will be accepted to come under me and you're not working. Amen. I'll make sure you're working 100%. You are doing a business. Amen. Please written down. Number two, we shall ensure school fees for the committed children and bright children be paid from january hallelujah so if you want to be paid for for school fees you must show me you are great i am not a dwarf in my mind so show me your intelligence then we pay your school fees are we clear for those who are in primary are in direct sunday school teachers find their bright children and ensure them we can pay for their school fees amen bright children who are willing to work hard so, if you are willing to get the grades, let us talk. When you know what you need to do, you can't get the results. 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 So, you can't get the results. So, we shall start. We shall roll up the ASM foundation for our children. Amen. All bright children to be supported to finish school but they must be serving in church they must be what that we, we shall start paying from january january is the first time yeah january is when we have the first time if i'm not wrong so every child sunday school teachers are direct you go to sunday school find the bright children who are doing well from january we pay their school fees i will pay for my own pocket don't worry about that amen i'm blessed man tell another that man is dangerously blessed you are, anyway, because you are envious, that's up to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, three, we shall insist on increasing couples in church. All men and women, we shall advise you to win more couples. 
if your mother and father is no are not going to church encourage them to come to church in jesus name then number four we shall discourage the youth of believing that marriage is difficult amen yeah, you shall not be dating like puppies you shall be dating like human beings tell your neighbor not dating like puppies Kill a certain no no no. Mommy, tell your neighbor no 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 no. You are behaving like puppies all the time. You are wagging wagging your tail. What are you wagging? Tell your neighbor stop wagging your bum bum. Tell your neighbor stop wagging your bum bum. Why are you lying to them? Squandy, what do I have? You are behind all the time. Oh, sinishike. Oh, you are nikuza. No, no puppies. We shall refuse puppies in church. We don't want any you to get into a relationship that goes to a heartbreak. No. All of these youngers who are matured to get married in the next two or one year, we shall need to teach you how now to get the right man before the time. Some men are giving women expectation, then they are running away. We want to ensure that families here are becoming stable. One problem I found here in Rongai, there are no families. Most children don't have fathers. Most children even don't have mothers. Their fathers have disappeared. Their fathers were called to above the head, below the belly. Uh -huh, you know it. We want to ensure all our youth believe marriage can work by how teaching them the right way. Amen? Teaching them what? All the youth services, most of them are be teaching on marriage. So you know what is marriage. You don't see a young boy with a bare chest and then you think he can take care of you. The only thing he can give you the best is spams. Tell your neighbor spams. That's the best thing he can give you. Why are you looking at me? Tell your neighbor spams. What is it? You don't know what is that. You know the problem is that men of God are not saying the truth. It's the truth. We don't want puppies in church. Tell your neighbor no more puppies here. How many boyfriends? We have many I, are you scratch card? Everyone is scratching your back. <laughs> we want marriage to work in this church. Marriage must work. Amen. Marriage will work. Amen. So all young girls that you are having a boyfriend who is taking you nowhere. Yes. Even he cannot buy you avocado. And you are trying to say his boyfriend. My friend. You are suffering confusion. And anybody who has a girlfriend and you cannot buy a matchbox, you are confused. <laughs> Tell your neighbor I release you from confusion, Jesus name. <laughs> Young girl, why should you get married when you are 20? Why should you get married when you are 25? You can be married when you are 27. Build your life, go to school, get masters. Start your business. Young boy, you are not a spam donor. Hallelujah. Go work hard. Start a business. Build something. If you cannot go with school, build something. Build something. This early pregnancy around here, we need to stop it. And we shall stop it in Jesus' name. Ask your neighbor, will you be part of it? Will you be part of stopping these things? And then I'm believing God in the month of August we shall do a mass wedding. Hallelujah. Close enough for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> All couples, stand up if you're here. If you are here, stand. If you are married, stand and you're a member of this church. Stand. I want to see you. Stand. Why are you, why are you sitting down? If I find you are seated down, you tell me, what are you doing seated down? God tell your husband and wife we will do a church wedding in August for free. Just wear a suit and let them wear a gown. You come for, for the sake of your children. For the sake of your children. The church will provide tents. Are we clear? The church will provide for you the tents. The decoration will provide for you. What you just need to do wear a suit. And let your wife wear a gown. Then come here for church wedding. We want people married legally and scripturally. Did you hear what I say? Yes. This come we stay. We cannot be doing come we stay. What are we coming and staying with? Did you hear what I say? 
for the sake of your children for the sake of your children for the sake of your children you will you will the church will give you the tents are we clear the church will give you the seats you will just wear a suit are we clear and your gown after your marital classes then we will plan about your food amen tell your husband tell your wife next year august we are doing mass wedding have your seat in jesus name are we happy about that so deacons and henry please don't keep me also i want you to be the mass wedding if it is possible Ekira and Oliver, I'm waiting too much. I want grandchildren. <laughs> Oliver, do you need a girlfriend? We get for you one I know. <laughs> I love you, sir. Thank you for serving me. So we are believing for marital classes starting in January. Are we clear? You'll come with your wife for marital classes. Where is Simon? Simon is here. Has he gone home? You tell him. Tell, tell Simon, first of all. The ritual has come. The ritual... Why is he come there here with your wife? I want to see both of you. Are they even here? I need to be sure I've told them. I need to tell them. They need to be told. Are you happy about that, George? You're happy? Most of your parents have never gone to be married in church. I'm asking the truth. Even you don't know how they met. You just see them together. And you see them arguing. And you see them leaving. You're confused also as a child. How are you in Gianga? wanapigana makele wanatoka walikutana wapi by the way nani aliwaunganisha by the way we need to change that here hallelujah and any young girl who's ready to get married and you have a man you are living with come with your man let us talk with them hallelujah are we here what do you say my wife yes some of them we are confused we are confused Daddy, I'm not your man. Yeah, when we begin our marriage, we are told, Ah, congratulations, my man. Next year there is mass wedding. Look for your wife. Ah, and Sasa, is I'm here I'm talking to you. Look for your wife. Look for your wife. Next year we are starting marital classes in January. August we are doing mass, mass wedding. Okay, you come with all your grandchildren and your generation to see how you got married. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we are confused. That's why some of you are, are acting like puppies. Because you don't know how your father met your mother. Let us come and put them in holy matrimony. There's no spirit that will follow them. We will separate them in Jesus name. Are you happy about that? Benedict are you happy or you are sad? You are happy. Are you sure? Or you are saying oh my God my pastor. Hey. All of you must have a good one in Jesus name. And lastly number six. The instruction for the year before we go eat and go home we shall not tolerate gossipers and dividers of the church this year you gossip even me i will call your name in the pulpit did you hear what i say tell your neighbor this year watch your tongue i will not call in my office i will just tell Teresa, let us go offline Okay, Madam So, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Uh, close your mouth or leave the church. We cannot have people gossiping in church. We cannot. There is nothing you can do to me. You don't pay me. I don't take salary from the church. I'm blessed by myself. You think I survive with church money? No. I will not allow gossipers in this church. A young child comes to school at, at a church. A young girl comes. on We here. Let us hear that. If it reaches my office this year, I will square you. Tell them about be careful, you know, be squared. We shall have non tolerance on gossipers and dividers. Most people want to come to church, but can you not go to church? Church, Mosheneziko. Naskusi ana ringa ati praise the lord ebu muone na ikizunga lijua tu hapa primary wewe wewe nikukute tu we tukutane this church must love each other tell your neighbor i love you by force shake your neighbor i love you tell your neighbor i i will not gossip you i will not gossip you you know they say i'm arrogant i'm not arrogant i know what i want part time Church should be a place where we take anyone with their problems. Am I saying the truth? A girl comes pregnant, let us not condemn them. You are not the one who gave her pregnancy. Is it true? So you keep quiet. Who are you to tell us she's pregnant? 
Kwani we can't see? Let them come back to Christ. Hallelujah. They, they are drunkards. Let us not condemn the drunkard. They are prostitutes. Don't condemn them. God will transform them. Church shall not be gossip area. George, do I have your blessing? Are you sure? You know I am. I don't go around the bush. Tell your neighbor, you will be free here. You will be free. We shall not gossip you. If I call you for something, I'll just correct you. We move forward together. Is it true? Most people are not going to church because of gossip. I'm telling the truth. Why should you make a child stop coming to church? Women, especially, I warn you. Women, thank God for your mouth. Use it for evangelism. Are we clear? Use it for what? I don't fear. If you get angry, that's up to you. I am the one who's telling you. Women, my wife, talk to the women. Talk their mouth, not for gossip. Not for what? I'm saying it here. I will call your name. So don't make me call your name. Number two, respect should be given to the office of the man of God and the woman of God. You see your mother in the faith, stand up. Are we clear? Show respect. Hey, attitude. She's my wife. Come here, madam. Let me present to you my wife. In case maybe you don't know her. I married you. Not them. <laughs> Look at me. No one to disrespect the woman of God. Most of you show me too much respect, but despise her. You treat her carelessly. Mom was saying, explaining to me some encounters. You don't show value to her. Don't come to my office to ask me for anything. Am I, saying, am I wrong, sir? How will you feel someone disrespect your wife? How? The tail of a lion is dangerous. Is it true? What about the beard? Don't disrespect this woman. She cooks for me. She earns my clothes. She even sometimes comb my hair. Then you disrespect her. This year, please, as a ministry, can we love her? Can we show her respect? Can you be on her feet and clap for Jesus for her? Amen. This church will move forward. Amen. Amen. All girls, I want you to feel safe with her. Amen. Amen. If you need something, call to her and she will help you. Have your seat in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Then lastly, we shall be loyal. Tell anybody we shall be loyal. Mambia kuna atuna ataki ma Judas is karioti apa. Mambia ataki Judas. Mambia manina we acha kwa judo. Mambia. We shall be loyal people. Amen. We shall try to create a suggestion box in case you have any suggestion that you think you cannot tell the man of God or anyone. You can drop it. Are we clear? So that we can see if you are youth, you are offended. Something has gone wrong. Just write it down. Put it there. We will take care of it. If you don't want to put your name, it's okay. Are we clear? So to be, Some of the youths are really working hard to find God. They are going back because their fathers are absent, their mothers are absent, and they are going back to the wrong group because when they come to church, it's not even safe. So I direct my office, can you put a suggestion box? Are we clear? On the wall, anyone with any suggestion, someone talk to you rudely, put it there and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Then lastly, we shall have elders and deacons ordained this year by the grace of God. Hallelujah. My first elders will be George and Jane. Can we clap for them in Jesus' name? Amen. Amen. And then lastly, there's no murmuring. Hallelujah. Tell the neighbor, people who were supposed to take 40 days took 40 years because of complaining. Are we clear? Tell the neighbor, we shall not take 40 years. Our journey of 40 days will be 40 days. Hallelujah. I love you all. Are you blessed with the ministries? Shout hallelujah for the Lord. Now, I was just sharing what you are doing. Today is not preaching time. Tomorrow is the preaching day. Hallelujah. Tomorrow the dress code is what? Tomorrow come dress white and come with your dancing shoe. Those of you who can dance, let me see you tomorrow. Amen. Service us at 10 o'clock and the Lord will bless us mightily in Jesus name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Give your neighbor a high five in front, behind. Tell them happy anniversary. 
hey man if is this is your first time to be here on a sunday and those of us who are watching us from the children's room i believe that those in the children's room just li lift your hand i see you if you're first time this this not we are first time to be in this church don't be ashamed hey, he, <laughs> wow uh, okay wow you are mainly like that is it food or you came for some anniversary <laughs> i love you all amen i love you all i love you all let me tell you visitors are a blessing amen oh can we shout to our visitors we love you, we love you. all our visitors you are welcome yes. feel at home yes. there's no church that belongs to any man it belongs to jesus christ you're in the house of your father feel at home we love you with the heart we love you with the heart as the privilege assigned leader of this ministry i tell you you're welcome ask your, ask your first time next to you will you come tomorrow ask them will you come tomorrow will you come tomorrow so i can see you amen or you came for rice ask them just ask them nicely or you came for rice hallelujah <laughs> amen i love you all god bless you all in jesus mighty name so with all kindness can all our first timers just be on your feet sir all our first timers i kindly request you before you go before you are you will you'll be served first don't worry hallelujah if you just you came for rice you can eat fast amen so then you can go fast amen but if you came for church you will not be in a hurry for rice hallelujah please see my muzungo Charles Dickens. can you clap for my muzungo hallelujah you don't believe he's a muzungo you want him to talk he can if he speaks english here some of you will be deafened amen my muzungo please follow my muzungo and the lord will bless you in jesus name he will share with you about the ministry and flee at home have your seat he's the youth leader right now can you clap for god for jesus hallelujah <laughs> just come sir hallelujah amen i love this boy with my heart amen i love this boy amen where is my where is my camera photographer guy you know i love photos with this guy I, i'll remind your wife how you used to look like don't worry i'm collecting a collection for your wedding please it you play these photos during his wedding okay Amen. Smile. Amen. Amen. hallelujah he's a fine boy can you say fine boy wow. handsome boy wow boy, wow boy. <laughs> now he's the youth leader hallelujah so all the girls say oh yeah Oh, wow they are alive amen <laughs> so please if you want to join the youth team he's a good guy hallelujah he's an engineer by profession he can train you a lot about technical and sound amen and if you want to advance in life see him so no now all you you don't need to see me you have a fine boy the anointing is here the anointing has arrived <laughs> hallelujah even a kirapa is happy wow amen god bless you sir amen are we clear in case you want to serve in the children's department come here hallelujah you want to serve in the children's department unapenda tu watoto you just love what <coughs> hallelujah <laughs> this boy came here when he was one mb uh, now he's 10 gb hallelujah i pray next year you will not be 10 terabytes hallelujah you want to serve in the children's department he's available hallelujah they are serving under my our mother in the law of faith so you want to join the children's department and serve see him hallelujah is he not handsome yes. shout hallelujah. hallelujah the anointing is here oh yeah take a photo for the wedding make sure you show it that day for the wedding we must share it. hallelujah may you get married soon may you get a good woman Amen. in jesus name you will not disappoint destiny Amen. you will get a good wife you shall give us many children amen. in jesus name amen. amen he loves children hallelujah i need a rugby team hallelujah no i want an arsenal team amen hallelujah god bless you in jesus name hallelujah now in case you need to see me for anything maybe you are came here today you're having some problems you have some challenges oliver come amen you are and the kirapa please amen I know some of you are wondering today the man of God talked if I want to talk to him how will I talk to him if I want to see him nataka kumuona nitamuona aje amen 
Why are you so serious? I'm not saying anything. Please see, Brother Oliver is my person. This guy, I trust him even with my money. This too. I've given, they know my passwords for even for ATM. They have never stolen even a shilling. I will send even over 40,000, 50,000. He will bring it. Ask your neighbor, can you work with 50,000 faithfully? Ask your neighbor. What did your neighbor say? Rabbi Yashatali Adara. This boy takes care of our family, our children, our car, everything. I have never called even the mechanic to ask him if something was not changed. May the Lord bless you. Amen. For your faithfulness, may the Lord return you. Now, that's why Ukitaka Kunyona, in case of anything, see them. Hallelujah. Just what? Where will Kwapa Loki Jano Nataka Kusema Ataku Balisha Mashango? Taku Songambele. See these two people, and the Lord will bless you. May the Lord keep you. May you get married fast. In Jesus' name. I'll pray for more children in Jesus' name. May you get married fast. On the right time. No, you, I'll pray for the right time. May the Lord not bring you a poor pastor, but a rich pastor. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May you have your seats in Jesus' name. Are we happy for them? Yes. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, tell your neighbor, service is 10 o'clock. Yes. Ask your neighbor, will you come? Yes. What did your neighbor say? Yes. They said yes. Tell them they'll be rice again. Tell them they'll be rice. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah.